Hey guys, welcome back to Ray Wall Trades. Today we're working on a the wife's 2019 Honda Passport. It's got the 3.5 Earth Dreams Technology IV Tech engine in it. It just needs an oil change. Zero W20 synthetics, what it calls for. 5.7 quarts and a Honda Air, excuse me, oil filter. Let's get it warmed up. Get the oil changed. Get the wife back on the road. We're up to operating temperature. Let's go ahead and shut it off. For this oil change, you're going to need 5.7 quarts of Zero W20, full synthetic. Going to need a small oil filter wrench. Bought a Honda oil filter. I'll link those in the description in A21932. 17 millimeter box end wrench. I'm going to use a Forma funnel um, just to protect the uh, when the oil filter comes off. It's going to get all over the cross member. A pair of gloves to keep my hands clean. Rag. And a large catch pan. Let's get to it. So underneath the car here, oil pan is on the passenger side. Transmission on the driver's side. Put a box in wrench on here. 17 millimeter. Shouldn't be too tight. I uh, forgot to tell you guys, I did get a new oil pan gasket, excuse me, oil plug gasket. Um, they recommend changing it every time on this one, and actually on most cars, but um, it's a new car. We don't normally buy new cars. I'm trying to make this one last as long as possible. So, always check your drain plug, make sure there's no... If it's magnetic, I don't think this one is, but always look for any kind of metal debris or anything like that. So no matter how new or old the car is. Since the car was getting warmed up, obviously the oil is going to be hot to the touch. And it will splash. Let's see, I'm going to take this gasket off of here, if I can get it off of there. Yep, take that gasket off. Came with a brand new one. Put that on. Set this out the way. Let that finish draining. Okay, once the majority of it's out of there, the gasket and drain plug. This should thread in by hand all the way in to make sure you don't have any dirt, debris, cross threads or anything like that. And when you go to tighten it up, just a regular box wrench, I use the palm of my hand, the meaty part. Um, you know, it doesn't take much effort to tighten that up. You just using a brand new crush washer. I'm gonna slide my bucket over here. I'm gonna take my Forma funnel and I'm gonna make a little bit of a lip on the back side like that. I'm gonna shove it underneath the oil filter. Just try to catch any kind of oil and direct it into the pan if I can. on there and just break it loose get that wrench back out of the way so. the filter is a little warm 
form. And there's some that's going to drain out of here. And there it goes. Okay, I'm not sure how much of that you guys were able to see. I've got a form of funnel sitting over the top of the cross member. I reached behind and I loosened up the oil filter with the wrench. Probably yelling in your ear right now because of the position I'm in. Let's take that oil filter the rest of the way off. Drain everything out of there. All right, that should be it for the formal funnel. Let's get that out the way. I'll leave the bucket here for now. Okay, old filter, old gasket, new filter. So I guess it needs to be said, um, this plastic has to come off of this filter. Um, the only reason I say that is I've seen a bunch of videos recently where people left the plastic on um, when they did it did the oil change and it'll cause a lot of damage um, so make sure that you take that plastic that protects it and keeps all the dirt off of it I pulled some brand new oil out of the jug put it in a cap we're gonna lubricate that o-ring just give a nice clean coat of oil on there keep the filter clean Bring it right back where we were. Try to do this. Alright, so we're going to clean up that surface right there. Make sure that there's no gasket left, dirt, anything like that. So the oil filter is going to thread onto here and it's going to seal against this surface right here. So use one hand to push up on the filter, the other hand to thread it. It should thread all the way on easily. Clean everything off so that you can get a good grip on it. What you're supposed to do is as soon as that gasket hits, you're supposed to go I think a quarter turn more. I generally just do it by hand until I feel it snug up with a slippery glove. If I can make it tighten up with a slippery glove on, I feel pretty good about it. Clean up my mess. You don't have to pull that cover off, I don't believe, but I'm doing it to make it easier on myself and you guys. So I'm drop the funnel down in there. And we need 5.7 quarts. I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm using a uh, Costco brand, Kirkland's brand, I guess. Full synthetic. Project Farm did an awesome study on these things and found out that it was just the same as the Mobile One equivalent, 
when I realized that, I started saving myself a lot of money. And let's see, so if this is five quarts right here, that's four quarts, 0.7 is gonna be right about there. So I'm gonna drain it out till about there and keep checking. off almost lost you guys a very disappointing day for me because the camera cost me a lot of money so I got on down set my Earth Dreams technology cover back on. Oh, Let's get some quick bearings here. So windshield washer fluid, high side charging port, low side charging port for the air conditioner, fuse relay, or fuse and relay box. I bet this is probably another fuse and relay box. Air filter box. Um, so it's got quick connects for opening that up. ABS control module, for the braking system. That's wild, that's way on the other side of the car. So master cylinders right here. That's where your brakes are. Batteries down here. So I'm reviewing the video if you guys are in the shot or not. So three covers, checks the air filter, three connectors, checks the air filter. It's really not that bad. Take this leaves out of here. like there is two tabs at the front of the air box like towards the engine I'm just going first then it drops down two clips on the back or excuse me two clips on the driver side one on the firewall side and anyway I'm gonna start it up check the uh, dipstick level make sure that it's correct back in the car looking for any kind of oil pressure lights anything like that no oil pressure errors on the dash let's go over here to home let's go to settings go to vehicle scroll down to maintenance Go to engine oil. I think we want, um, let's see, engine oil. Yep. So engine oil, press reset. Reset the engine oil. So oil and filter, reset. So I've got my oil life back to 100%. Let's go to warnings. Hood open. Let me close the hood and just verify that everything went out. Let's see. And all the warnings are gone. So oil life is reset right there oil life 100 that's the oil change on the 2019 honda passport wife should be happy for a little bit and if you guys got anything out of the video really appreciate a thumbs up subscribe helps the channel tremendously comment i try to respond to all comments when i can uh, all at least all the early commenters and uh, thanks for hanging out with me guys appreciate it